On today's IRS tax refund update, we will take a look at the latest developments, including the next round of tax refunds scheduled for release this week. And from there, we will check in on those ongoing tax refund delays still impacting millions of tax filers, including many of our viewers, and some of the top causes behind those delays. We will also take a look at one method of assistance that has been working for a number of our viewers over the last several weeks, and what happens in the case of a rejected tax refund. Now, starting off with the latest, as the next round of direct deposit tax refunds are scheduled for release on May 30th and May 31st, as confirmed by the refund status results and tax transcripts seen here. And if you are part of this latest batch, while most will receive the deposit the day of if not before, do allow an additional five days for that refund to post your bank account before initiating a payment trace with the IRS. Meanwhile, the next batch of paper checks are scheduled to be mailed out on June 3rd. And if you are among that batch will most will receive within 7 to 10 days, you will need to wait 30 days for it to arrive in the mail before initiating a payment trace. Now it appears we have reached the point in the year that the IRS has stopped the weekly reporting of tax processing numbers. However, as of their last update, there were still approximately 2.7 million unprocessed tax returns remaining. And as a result, we continue to estimate that those tax processing delays continue well into the fall at this point. Moving on to some of the top reasons behind those tax refund delays that have impacted tax filers, including many of our viewers over the course of the last several months, include the most commonly reported issue is that of an entry error, or what the IRS considers a math error, where the tax filer has accidentally entered a wrong amount on a tax return. Now that is such a common occurrence that just two years ago, over 17 million tax returns contained some sort of error that needed additional action by the IRS to be resolved and it could be something as simple as just one single digit being off on the tax return in question. An additional review of the tax return is another commonly reported cause of refund delays and can be identified by the 570 tax transcript code. Now, the additional review could be as a result of the tax return being randomly selected for a wage and or withholding review which has impacted many, or it could be as a result of a discrepancy on the return such as wages not matching or a credit being claimed. Moving on to another cause which has caused delays not only this year, but in previous years is that the tax filer's employer's tax information has not been processed yet, which is important as the IRS matches what you have entered on your tax return and compared it to what your employer has reported for accuracy. Now oftentimes those impacted by this receive a 60-day notice from the IRS stating they are waiting on your tax information to be available on their computer system. ID verification continues to cause significant delays and specifically impacted those who filed their tax early this year. And while the IRS is supposed to send out notices to those impacted by this issue, notifying them to complete ID verification, they are not always received, which leads to many not being aware. This is the cause of their delay in the first place. And as we have seen in previous years, until tax filers take further action, discovering the course of the problem, it could take additional months to resolve. And finally, those who file paper tax returns experience some of the longest wait times as an IRS employee must manually enter each digit of the tax return into the computer system. We also are continuing to hear from viewers that they are reporting that reaching out to their congressional representative or senator's office has been helpful in getting a resolution or at least movement when it comes to their tax return delays. And now with IRS phone representatives oftentimes not providing any resolution and the taxpayer advocate still not taking new cases, this does seem the best option for those looking at getting assistance when it comes to their tax refund delays. Now to locate your local congressional representative, visit the official House of Representatives website through the link provided here. Another problem impacting some who have had their tax refunds released is the direct deposit refund was sent to a closed bank account, or the bank account listed on the tax return was incorrect. And if you are among those impacted by this, you are likely to receive a, an 841 refund canceled code on your tax transcript, which means the refund in question was returned back to the IRS as not deliverable. And at which point, the IRS will mail out to you as a paper check usually within four to six weeks of receiving it back. It is important to note, if the IRS receives it back, you will not be able to call them to give them a new bank account to send the tax refund direct deposit to. If it has been five days and you have not received it in your account after the 846 refund date code on your tax transcript, do contact the IRS to initiate a payment trace. Let us know in the comment section below about your ongoing tax issue. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up 
and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.